BoxingVoice.com. We're here with the winner of the first bout tonight, Anthony DeCarri. First off, Anthony, congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, you told the people that you were prepared to throw that right hand and land it often. What did you see in Alex Perez that gave you that thought you could land that right hand that well? I wasn't sure 100% I could, but that's what we, we, we prepared before the fight. Uh, we watched him on tape, and we knew it was a tall salpa. Uh, the right hand usually worked with salpa, and then such a tall guy like this, I knew I, wasn't, I had to start with the right hand to make sure to cut the distance. And uh, thank God it worked, uh, it worked well tonight. Um, my coach uh, asked me to just make sure to stay defense, to, to keep my uh, uh, protective, uh, to stay focused because, you know, you never know. Uh, it's a tough guy, 16 and 0, so we stayed focused the first few rounds. But in the, we still kept in mind that the goal was to land the right end. And uh, more and more the fight was going, uh, he was getting more and more tired and it was easier to, to land the right end. At one point I was able to land the right and follow with the hook and then that's where it all started to, to go well for me. Now he said, uh, there's rumors that said that he was weight drained, that he was vomiting the night before. Did you sense that in there, that he was a little lazy in there in the fight? Um, it's hard to tell. Uh, I mean, I've seen him fight uh, before on tape, so it was the first time I see him live. Uh, I, he, 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 didn't, he didn't feel as powerful as I thought, so maybe that could be true, but uh, I didn't really notice anything. Now, when did you know you were fighting on HBO? Uh, three weeks ago, actually. But I was, I, it's not that bad because I was getting ready to fight on, uh, on October 12th in Montreal, uh, my hometown. There was a card there, so I was supposed to fight. So I was already getting ready. And when they told me uh, something happened, uh, you have a call for HBO. I didn't even, didn't even ask who I was fighting. I said yes, and uh, I was ready. Did that change your mindset in training camp? Well, obviously, when you know you're, you're fighting a... Uh, undefeated guy on HBO, you don't cut corners, you know. So uh, I, I always push hard, anyways. But uh, I was very motivated. I wanted to do good, and uh, I'm so glad uh, it finished the way it did. Now talk about the knockout. Tell me what happened and how did you pursue that knockout after well, you knocked him down the first time? Well, that's it. The first, the, the goal was to land the right end, and the, I land the right end. I followed with the the left, and I saw him wobbling, so I jumped on him with another big right end, and then he went down. And then I knew, like, when he, he, he got up, but I know he was still dazed, so I jumped on him with a, a big, uh, I, I, I think, I, from what I remember, I, I jabbed to the body and I finished upstairs, and uh, I took him out. Now, you're in a tough division, 147. Yeah, very tough. A anyone you're looking at possibly fighting in the near future? Well, uh, there's so many good, great fighters that uh, I, I'll, be, I'll be very lucky if I can get a shot at anybody. I'm very... Uh, I, I want to stay humble. I don't want to call uh, Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao. I think uh, it's way too early for that. If I can get a shot uh, at anybody, Robert Guerrero right now, I, get, I got the WBC International and the NABF. I'm well ranked at the WBC. So if I can get a shot at him, I'll be very happy. Now, finally, you said you love the fight at HBO. Yeah, uh, there's nothing, be nothing, nothing better than that. Like after the fight, I, I looked at Roy Jones and I said, uh, I said to him, that's what happened when you talk with Roy Jones in the morning of your fight. Because after, yesterday after the interview, uh, I don't, yeah, I'm, I'm all, uh, I'm confused about it. I don't know if it was, yeah, it was yesterday after the, we, um, before the weigh-in, we went, uh, we had a little talk and uh, Roy Jones was asking me, you know, it's your first time on HBO, what's different? I said, well, first of all, I'm sitting in front of you this morning talking with you. That never happened before, so... I mean, it's an, it's, a, it's an awesome opportunity, and I'm very happy I, I did good. Now, you're looking to come back to the States or, or, or stay in Canada and fight over there? No, no, anything. Uh, I, I was very happy here. People are nice, and uh, they were cheer not cheering for me before, but they did after, so that's all that matters. There you have it, new champion, Antonin DeCarie. Thank you very much.